Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's pretty safe to say that I told you so on this particular altercation. I have said before that when Bud Light came out and said that Alyssa and her partner were on a leave of absence, I said that they were fired, okay? I knew right off the bat that leave of absence simply meant a delayed firing. That they didn't want to come out and publicly say that they were fired for the backlash because then that can open them up to potential other backlash or even lawsuits from Alyssa or her partner or whatever the case may be. Now, apparently, it is public information and now official that they have actually officially fired Alyssa and the partner that were responsible for the Bud Light backlash and controversy with transgender grifter Dylan Mulvaney. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very epic. This is something that is a perfect example that when you get woke, you will, in fact, go broke. It is an amazing thing to witness, and I'm glad that I can finally be able to report on this and to say that I was, thankfully, very right on this scenario. So let's get into this article, guys. But of course, before we do, just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 25,000 subscribers. So the headline here from Outkick says, Anheuser-Busch executives responsible for Bud Light disaster are gone, a report from Outkick. Kick. The Anheuser-Busch executives responsible for Bud Light disaster reportedly are no longer with the company. Group Vice President for Marketing Daniel Blake and Bud Light Marketing Vice President Alyssa Hernerscheid are both no longer with AB for their roles in the Dylan Mulvaney debacle, according to texts obtained from current regional head of marketing by the Daily Caller's most prominent journalist, Henry Rogers. The text described the pair as gone gone and noted, to my understanding, if we publicly announce the word fire, it opens up the potential for them to sue us. That's why we said leave of absence. Ladies and gentlemen, this was basically clear as day. I mean, I can see this coming from a mile away, and I am sure a lot of you guys who are watching this video thought the same exact thing when they came out and said it was a leave of absence, right? We all know exactly what leave of absence means. It means that you are on a delayed firing, essentially. If they cannot find a way to keep you, they're going to get rid of you. And let's be real. Why should they keep you? Why should they keep Alyssa? Why should they keep Daniel Blake? Why should they keep any of them after what happened with Dylan Mulvaney. They made their choice and they lost the company an ungodly amount of money. These two people literally ruined the Bud Light. These two people toppled America's number one beer company and made them number two. These people are responsible for the company losing billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars, the likes of which they will never be able to recoup. So with that being said, it should have been no shock that Alyssa and Daniel Blake got removed and fired and a lot of people were saying myself included i was saying to a point i was thinking well she's a woman are they really gonna fire her well we just got our answer it says it was previously announced the two were simply taking a leave from the company and now it looks like that wasn't really the case and the pair has permanently split and heiser bush reportedly dumps execs responsible for Bud Light disaster the source also told rogers wholesalers were told they are both gone for good by leadership during the in-person conversations they already shifted all their direct reports to new people and the head of marketing unfortunately for blake it might appear that he has been caught in a crossfire that ultimately cost him his job to be fair daniel blake was actually awesome i think he was just caught in crossfire but also he did hire her so that's a fault the unnamed source informed Rogers. Heinerscheid inf infamously claimed that the Bud Light image was too fratty. Those comments came to haunt her and seemingly end her career after the brand teamed up with the transgender grifter. The comment went mega viral and there was simply no hiding from the disaster Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch found themselves in following the Mulvaney collab. Now both are gone. It's interesting AB isn't being more public about the decision to move them off. It would signal to consumers it's taking the crisis seriously. Instead, Bud Light is busy running ad gimmicks and giving away free beer to win customers back. Now, here's the thing. I, I don't know if they can actually come out publicly and try to turn this into some sort of announcement because, again, it opens them up to potential lawsuits, right? They can do falsified firing. It could, like Whatever reason Alyssa's lawyers would come up with, I'm sure they would come up with something to win her a couple million for being fired due to what she did with Dylan Mulvaney. So it's kind of like a lose-lose situation when it comes to Bud Light. You know, their hands are tied in how they want to present this so i think what they decided to do was restructure the company especially the marketing division restructure everything quietly while also simultaneously essentially giving away free beer as long as they have to to essentially apologize for what happened with Alyssa and daniel blake so it is their fault what happened but bud light really cannot utilize this in terms of public press because if they do you're gonna have every feminist under the sun trying to complain that Alyssa was fired because they decided to uh virtue signal to dylan mulvaney and transgender 
their people and how that's such an amazing and stunning and brave thing to do when i mean let's be real it's really not stunning and brave to do it at all it is the easiest thing to do it's what everybody does during pride month unfortunately for them they decided to want to start really early when it comes to pride month and they got all the backlash that would have been spread out to all the other companies that were doing pride month had bud light not tried to beat everybody to the punch and be the first one weeks ahead of pride month to do any kind of virtue signaling so it's pretty damn hilarious that uh that was essentially their fall from grace it says if the claim both are gone is accurate it should serve as a warning that there are consequences for going woke and destroying a brand it took decades for bud light to become a powerhouse it took one stupid instagram post to ruin it all now the two execs responsible reportedly have paid the price ladies and gentlemen that's 100 percent a fact i mean it's amazing how fast you can destroy a company a company like bud light that has been around for decades they've been building their brand for decades that that honestly earned their number one spot in terms of America's beer. They did earn their spot way back in the day, but unfortunately, they hired the wrong people. They hired someone who uh, was very woke. They hired someone who essentially thought that the world was filled with transgender people. They hired someone that thought that if they virtue signaled to transgender people, that was somehow going to give you an obscene amount of customers that was going to outweigh the people that you were going to lose by doing so. They played the wrong game and they lost. That's essentially what it is. So this is what happens when you work with marketing people who just come right out of college who have no idea what really goes on in the world and somebody like Alyssa who ironically has been doing this a fair amount of time just seemingly thinks like a college kid it's ridiculous they think that the world revolves around wokeness and unfortunately for her she found out real quick that it doesn't so I don't know what job she's going to be able to get knowing that wherever she applies people are going to know her name people are going to know her face she's going to have to go apply somewhere that is ultra woke that's the only place that's going to hire her because even if someone is down the middle road woke they're not going to want to deal with the listener they're not going to want to deal with what her face brings they're not going to want to deal with the ramifications of adding her name to their staff list they're not going to want to deal with it so i'm very curious to see where Alyssa ends up here in the future i think daniel blake has a better chance of getting something but Alyssa's probably going to struggle really really hard to try to get any sort of prominent role like she had before within a some sort of beer organization so we're going to see what happens in the future going from here so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out